All right, guys, let's wire up the open delta. So we've got our primary. We're going to start off with the, the feed to the first transformer, H1. We're going to feed that from line one on our three amp breaker. Okay, we'll tuck this over here so it's out of the way. Okay, then line, line two is going to go to H2 on our first transformer. And on this one, for the open delta, we're going to create a three-phase bank out of two transformers. Okay, then the next one, we've got uh, H1 being fed from the B phase. So we're going to parallel that to our second transformer. So we got A to B, and then this guy's got to go B to C, right? So H2 on the second transformer has got to go to uh, the C phase. Beautiful. Okay. Um, at that point, you're more than welcome to liven it up, see if the breaker holds. So that looks good. So now I know that there's no issue on my primary, right? Uh, looking at the voltages on those guys, let's take a look at that uh, before we move on. So the voltage on each of them should be identical. So looking at the voltage on this primary right here, we're expecting to see 208 volts. And we see 211. Let me just move the meter over a touch. So again, we're expecting to see 2.8, we're seeing 2.11, and that's because um, the voltage on this floor is a little bit high. It varies between 2.8 to 2.11, depends on the day. Okay, so identical voltage should be on this second primary here. So H1 to H2 should have an, ident an identical voltage of 211, 212 volts. Beautiful. Keep in mind now that because our voltage is higher than 2.8 on the primary, we're going to see a little bit higher than 120 on the secondary. If you weren't watching this, the previous video, uh, this 2.8 on each of the primaries here will provide us with uh, 120 volts on each of our secondary windings there. Okay, so now we're going to hook up our secondary. Uh, we're on page 23 and it says that we're going for the lower voltage. So that means that lower voltage means that we're going to parallel our secondary windings here. So I'm bringing X1 and X3 together and X2 and X4. So normally you would have a single winding on the secondary. With these units we have two windings on the secondary. So I'm doing a parallel connection. Okay. I'm also going to do the second transformer. I'm doing X1 and X3 at the same potential and X2 and X4 at the same potential. Okay. That does nothing for me in terms of the open delta connection. That just parallels the, uh, the connections there. So now I've got to create uh, an, uh, an open delta now. So I've got to connect up those two windings together. So all I've done now is paralleled these windings, but I haven't done any connections between the two transformers there. So for these guys, I'm going to grab um, line one from X1. So line one is going to come from uh, X1. Okay, and then I have line two coming from um, X1 of the, sorry, X4 of the first transformer and X1 of the second transformer. So what I've got to do is I've got to jumper those guys together. So I've got to jumper um, X1 and X4 together. So, no, not this guy, sorry, X1 of the second transformer and X4. Beautiful. Okay, that's going to provide me with my B phase. So I can go to either one of those guys feeding over here. So this is just going to simulate my three phase output. Okay, and then the C phase is going to come from X4 of the second transformer. Okay, so second transformer X4 looks like this guy right here and that's going to feed this bad boy right here. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see what voltages we have on the secondary of this transformer. So let's take the meter out of here. We saw that we had basically 2.8 on the primary. So um, we have parallel connections on the secondary and it's a delta connection, so the phase and the line voltages should be identical. So if we have 120 volts on the phase and we parallel them to out, then we should be able to have uh, 120 volts on the line. So this guy should actually punch out 120 volts three phase 
on the output here. Let's see if it does. Beautiful. Okay, again, a little bit higher voltage because we don't have any physical load on the transformer and our voltage was higher on the primary here. Nice, so between A to B on the output of this open delta, I have 120 volts. If I go from uh, B to C, I should have an identical voltage. Ah, yes, 126. Nice. So, identical voltages between A and B, B to C, and then C back to A should also provide me with that same voltage. So I'm using only two transformers, but I can get three phase out by using the open delta connection. Very nice. So identical voltages on the output of the open delta. So why would you use an open delta? Um, it's used because you can get three phase out without having to use a third transformer. Um, so it provides you with three phase out. Identical voltages are seen here in that we have 2828 on our primary voltages and 120 volts between A to B, B to C, and C to A on the secondary of this, of this open delta configuration that we've done. Uh, but obviously, if we've reduced it by one transformer, then the total VA is going to be reduced, right? We're not going to have as much power available because we don't have the third transformer. So open deltas are beauty in that they provide you with the three-phase output with only two transformers, uh, but they don't have as much VA as a closed delta. So next one we're going to be doing is, let's take a look at the next guy. Did we do a closed? So the next one we're going to do for project number four uh, is the closed delta, but we have to do a test first um, as we build up that closed delta. So on the next video, we'll be doing the closed delta, but I'm also going to show you how to look, reference zero volt before you actually close the delta connection. So hopefully everything makes sense on this guy. Um, we did the wiring prior to this on the, uh, on the actual screen. So following that, and I've done the picture in picture hopefully here uh, as we did the wiring. So hopefully everything is clear on the open delta. If it's not, please leave some comments below.